obviously time with my family, uh, but I think sometimes even that can, you know, everything needs to be in moderation. Uh, what else has helped me? Working out, um, eating well, uh, and then I wrote some things down in my phone uh, that I wanted to share, but I realized when I go to my notes, now I can't pop back to, you can't hear me, but, um, hey, Lele, congrats on your documentary thing. I got to check that out. Everybody go watch uh, Lele Pons. She has a new doc out. Uh, I think it's called um, something with Lele. But I'm so, so, so tight. Um, so I was going to invite some people on this chat and just talk kind of candidly about maybe some people's struggles in this time. And... Uh, and just see where this takes us. Secret life, yeah, secret life of Lele. This is huge. This bee is huge. There's a bee around me, and it's huge. Hello? Hi, brother. Hello? I can't hear you, bro. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, John. Not fu- no, hello. no way. I was, I, I was not expecting this. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. How are you? Not, I'm good. I'm so good. I'm good. good. I'm glad. Where are you Not, from? I just... <laughs> Don't cry. <sighs> okay. I'm so fine. My day is uh, complete now. How are That's you? That's awesome. I, I'm I'm really good. Can you hear me? Is the wind too heavy? No, it's so perfect. It's That's so good. Perfect. I'm shaking so much right now. Oh my Where God. are you? Fuck. I'm on my balcony alone. Oh my god. No, with my friend. My friend. What country do you live in? Oh my god, I'm shaking so much. How are you, Justin? I'm good. Where are you? Where do you? Where are you from? Denmark. Why can't That's... I hear you? I can't hear. You. You can't yes, hear me now? Yes, yes. You're from Someone Denmark? Calling me up. Oh. I, I'm, I'm just there I'm you go. I'm so so I'm you're from obsessed. you're from you're from Denmark. Yes. Yes. Wow. Oh, and Jesus. um Oh Justin, I love so, you so much. I love you so much. If you could if you could try to if if you could try to reach inside of yourself, right? And and pull out maybe one reason why you're so excited to be on this phone call on this chat what would it be why why would why would you say that this means so much to you because you have helped me through my teenage years um 
you were your music was just um oh my god helping me through so many things my struggles and i just oh, i'm just oh i can't believe this i'm so glad you accept my request uh -huh. oh my god you just helped me through so much and yeah i yeah i need to oh so god, would you so would you say the emotion that you're feeling is overwhelmed overwhelmed and i'm so happy i i just can't Good. believe this i'm oh i feel so lucky i'm so happy justin thank you so much thank no you worries. for your music and for helping me through so many things can i ask um what what was it exactly what do you feel like really helped you with my music in a in a hard time i just for me your music was just i you know i i felt so bad for you know what i went through and um my escape was listening to your music i was wow. just you were my everything you know twitter i was addicted literally addicted wow. to just that was my escape from all the bad things wow. um, so you yeah i still yeah, I'm still addicted. I'm still obsessed right now. Uh, I'm 23 now, and I just... Well, yeah. um... Yeah, I'm, yeah, sorry, someone's calling. So bad timing. Wow. That's okay. That's okay. Um, what... Has there anything been specifically... Has... What do you feel... Um, do you feel music is, like, just this... Do you think my music in particular, or do you have... Um, what was it about my music that brought you through a place that really, um, really helped you? Um, it's uh, all of your Is songs that... I can relate and your, you know, it's just, yeah, your voice, your, your soul, your, yeah, all your, you. yeah, just everything. And also uh -huh. born, born to be somebody is just, yeah, it has helped me a lot and wow. I'm just... I'm, yeah, it's just I so interesting. Talk. I love to hear. Uh, I love to hear stuff like this because obviously, you know, I, I make music with the hopes that it's gonna inspire people and help people get through tough times. So, when I hear stuff like this and when I see uh, the impact that I'm able to make, it it, it definitely encourages me. Um, because just like everybody else, you know, I have days where I you know don't feel good enough or i want to quit or i feel like you know am i really am i really making a difference or you know i'll see a lot of negative stuff and, and even in my position I'll, I'll start believing those things and uh so it, it's really good to to know that a i'm not alone b uh, my music is inspiring people and is helping people and c that um we are I don't even have a C, but C, uh, I just, I just appreciate you, and I, and I appreciate this talk. So thank you for, for thank that. You. Thank you, thank yeah. you so much, Justin. Thank you, and thank you for everything. Literally, you, you saved my life. You, you did. Uh, thank uh, you, thank I, you for I'm, saying I'm that. I'm so blessed. I'm so thankful. I just, oh. I, I, I can't believe this. I'm so thankful. I thank you for wow. being there for me, being in this world and inspiring me, inspiring people. And this album changes. Has I made a change uh, two months ago, oh. and your album came out, and it, yeah, it. Wow. Just the right time in my life. I think. To, to get this album. Wow. Thank you for saying that, and um, I just think it's such a good. Oops. Yes. Sorry, I'm coming back outside. Um, I think it's such a good time. In, it's just such a random time that I came out with this album called Changes. And the world is going through the most change it's ever has. It ever has. And so um, I had no idea this was going to happen. And um, it, uh, that song changes in general. I mean, it just, it's a song that it says, you know, sometimes I, sometimes I, sometimes I move like water. Some days I burn like fire. Some days I want to push further. Some days I want to do nothing. And I think that's the reality of the situation that we're in. I think sometimes we're feeling hopeful that all of this stuff is going to come to an end. Um, 
and life can go back to normal as as they say um and i think sometimes that sometimes we just feel like you know de defeated and um and uh i think one thing people need to know is that that is just the the human condition of the waves of of our emotions and um uh my life is obviously my anchor to my faith and what i believe in and um knowing that you know i i don't know what's going to happen tomorrow i don't know what's going to happen the next day but um i do believe that my soul is actually going to live on for eternity and i'm going to live in heaven with jesus and i'm forgiven and i'm loved and i'm valued and so um hopefully that can resonate with people and people can feel that and um hopefully uh you know um just be inspired by my music so and it has inspired me and I know so many people so much and it does a huge impact on so many people and you are just Thank I you. look up to you so much Justin really Thank I you. do and I'm so grateful and thankful for you being in this world and inspiring people really Thank you. you mean so much to me really you, Thank you you are my everything I know it sounds a little crazy when you're 23 but that's okay. Really, I'm. Yeah, I can't be what? myself. I'm shaking so much. That's okay. Um, I think. Uh, I think, it's honestly an honor to to be able to play that role in anybody's life. You know, I know we don't know each other, but you know, um, the way music works is that anybody can listen to it at any time and feel connected to that person. So it's not weird that you feel that way. Music is so powerful and it can help you get through a lot of crappy situations and, and, and yeah. feelings. So um, it has. Yeah. I'm really grateful that I was able to do that for you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. I love you so much. Okay. It's nice to meet you. So nice to meet you, Justin. Okay. Can't wait when you come to Denmark. Okay. Take care. Thank Bye. You. Thank you. Aww. That's a good feeling. Harry, <laughs> dude, what's up, fam? Dude, what are you doing? I'm just talking to some fans, some people are gonna talk about life and. Dude, I love that. I love that yeah. you talk to fans. Thanks, man. You're really it's... good. You're a really good guy. Makes you happy to Oh man, I appreciate it. What's your beanie say, Noah? It says Noah. It's a really good fitting beanie. It fits so well. It's it's comfortable. It's hard to find a good beanie sometimes, you know what I mean? Dude, you know me. You know I only wear beanies. You crush beanies. Bro, I was You're always beanies. in a beanie. What happened, man? You woke up today beanie-less. Uh, hold up. That's funny because... <laughs> tell, tell, tell everybody uh, the music you're making these days and... and uh, you know, obviously you uh, are an incredible musician, artist. Uh, what, what did you put out recently that you're so proud of? I uh, just put out a single. It's called Give Up On Us. I put it out on Friday. Let's go. Um, you know, I think it's just, I just put it out because I got in a weird relationship and I felt like I was putting too much into it than getting anything out of it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I was like in my room and I was like, might as well write a song about this feeling and feeling like you need to get out of a relationship, but you don't have the courage or confidence to do so. And you feel like you're not getting the love you deserve back. And like, you know, you get content. So people are just like, I'll just try to figure it out, try to make it work. And knowing that like, it's not gonna work and knowing that like, you have to be mature and be like, let's end this and let's move on. And like, I don't want to, but it has to happen for the both of us so we can live a happy life, that whole thing, you know? So you are obviously like, you're so talented, so gifted. You have so many incredible <laughs> qualities about you. But one thing I love is that you use your platform and to tell a real story to tell your story to tell to inspire people um explain why that's important to people that are watching that have gifts like you have and have um you know talents and 
why it's so important to use that gift to help people because um, you've had a, a really crazy story. Um, obviously, um, you know, uh, a lot of that's public, but, um, just, just tell people kind of how, uh, how music has changed your life and how using your platform to help people really is the way to, way to go. Um, I think just for me, people who don't know, I had cancer about five and a half years ago and they gave me a couple months to live with the cancer. And so for me taking that and knowing that like, what do I want in my life and how did I feel? And taking those moments and realizing that like, I might have a couple months to live at 20 years old and how do I take that? And how do I do something great? And how do I leave a mark behind? And I realized I wouldn't have left anything behind if I passed away at 20 because I was so insecure living and growing up and trying to figure out who I am in this world. And then getting sick made me realize what I love to do and what I love to do, the passion is music. But the purpose for me isn't the music, the passion is the music. I think the purpose is to help people. I think the purpose is to, is to make people find their passion, make them feel like they're happy and make them feel loved and you know what I'm saying? So it's like, for me, taking the pain and taking all the drama and turning it into music was the easiest way for me because it's not easy to talk about shit sometimes. It's easy for me to write about it and then express it through song. So I think taking pain and turning it into action and turning it into something that you love, action. So it's like, I took it into action, into making music, but you could take your pain and turn it into feeding someone. You could turn it into being a doctor. You could turn it into being an artist and draw something. You could turn it into helping your neighbors, but like take the pain that you're dealing with, because we're all dealing with pain and doing something. All of us. Different. So it's like, all of us. You, yeah, I think that's what I, we relate with that. Cause you're going through your thing with, with your sickness and all that. And I think, you've made the biggest change you're going through that mm -hmm. um, and that's been really inspiring you knowing you throughout the years and like seeing like the growth that you've had and just so soon is like very inspiring and like admirable thank you man you said a couple things that i was really um that really touched my heart just now um one thing is that pat your passion is the music but your purpose is actually helping people and I, I think I can resonate to that so much because, you know, we have, you also said another thing that was really profound. You said, you said, um, we all have pain. And I think with Instagram and things on the internet, and I think a lot of people feel like they're alone in their pain. They feel like they see this glorified world and this glorified, uh, you know, social media and they, they think that people are, are really happy and yeah, we can have happy moments, but all of us are facing pain to some degree in one area or another. So just thank you, first of all, for saying that. Second of all, um, I can relate to the fact that, you know, I, God has given me these talents to be able to sing and to dance and to, you know, entertain and, and yes, that's a passion, but without a purpose, uh, it's just a passion and there's no purpose behind it. And so I think what you said there was so, so, so profound because there's so many people who are talented who don't know what to do with their talent because they don't have their purpose or they're using their talent, but it's in almost in vain because they're, they're using it for their own selfish gain. And so I think when you can find your purpose um, with your, with your passion, it, it really can um, elevate you to the next level and really you really can find um, fulfillment in that you know absolutely and knowing that like I think now is the perfect time to find that out where you're just sitting at home this is the perfect time to explore your passion to explore things that like you wish you could have done like sewing if mm -hmm. someone wants to sew like go fucking sew you know like, mm -hmm. like, if there's like it's like the simplest things of like I don't know. I feel like you gotta be there for yourself, and once you love yourself, you have to be there for your community. So start being there for your neighbors. Start helping out your local churches. Start mm -hmm. helping out. Like there's so many things that we could do as people to help. And when you help, you know how fulfilled you feel. And like even just helping someone for a food drive. Like I did that a couple months ago, and like when I was in a bad place, and it just like brought me out of some some shit, you know. And it brings you back into like a good 
you know, a good flow. And I think just people watching and people just need to feel loved and people need to feel like they are worth something and not feel like they're worthless. Cause we all feel like that sometimes. And I don't think people like know that, mm -hmm. you know, we all feel the same thing. And so from, I think it's just now it's like, we need to be there for people. We need to just start living a life that I feel like everyone deserves. It's hard. I don't know. It's just like, it's hard because I see a lot of like things, like see a lot of people in pain. A lot of people hit me up. And it's like talk, talk, the craziest shit. So I'm sure with you too. Mm. But yeah, man. Yeah, I, um, going back to and, and it's just all these little these little words that you know people hear: passion, pain, purpose. Uh, those are three P's. I think you can make a a little thing these are the three p's passion pain and purpose and find your passion um use your pain and um find your purpose and i think for for you you experienced this severe um sickness um which caused you to you know kind of come to the end of yourself in a way of like you know i'm i'm looking at possibly you know death and a lot of people don't want to look at death they don't want to face death they don't want to even rem they don't want to know that death even exists they don't they do but they just push it to the side because they're scared they don't know what's going to happen next and so they're living their life for the second and the moment and things that happen in the second and the moment oftentimes you wake up in the morning with regret you know what i mean and so um i think my my uh with kind of some wisdom that I've acquired over the years of making a lot of dumb mistakes and uh, is that, you know, we, what, what is my purpose? Therefore you have to look at death. You have to look at the fact that we are going to die eventually. And it's a scary thing. Yeah. And it's not something that we're trying to scare people, but it's, it's, it's a thought that re it, it forces you to go because you were forced, you and I were forced at a, at a young age, me, because I was doing a lot of drugs and I was actually so deep into it and no one really knew that I was, you know, my security was checking my pulse at night to see if I was alive, you know? And so yeah. with that being, and with you, you, with your cancer, um, you know, not knowing whether, you know, you were going to die or not. And that's, that's a, that's a, that's kind of what you call coming to the, to the end of yourself. And uh, with that being said, um, forces you to either give up and just say, well, this is it. I can just, you know, whatever. Or you can say, what, what was my purpose on this earth? Did I have a purpose? Was there a reason? Or am I just, because, you know, there's a lot of people who don't believe in, in a, in a God or don't believe in, you know, they believe in this is all chance. And as yeah. I look at this, as I look at, you look at this right, right quick, I'm going to turn this around. Um, you look at the trees and you look at the sky and you look at the details of just a, a leaf and you look oh. at all that detail right there and you say to yourself, that was an accident you look at your the lines in your fingers and you and and you look at all the intricate detail there's no way that this is a chance that that, that a bang it's like it's like shaking up a box of gold and then a rolex just pops out pops out crazy. yeah <laughs> so i think it's just a reminder to people that you know we aren't an accident this we do have a purpose and um and uh you know, God will reveal himself to you as you keep looking. Do you remember, do you remember what you said at church when you spoke? That I have it in my journal, actually. Hold on, let me grab it. That one thing that made you, like, repeat. I think it's on the background of your photo, if it still is. Yeah. Bro, that changed the game for me. I want Ready? You to know. Just say, uh, tell people, because this is some good, good stuff. Let me find it in my journal. Right. That that was amazing. How's 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 Hales going? How's the life over there? You guys look like you're living a nice little. Man, we're so blessed. Uh, Haley's do she's she's working. She has her passion that she's she's uh you know waking up and and tapping into every day. And um, we both have what's good about our relationship is we both have our own thing. You know, she yeah she she has passions. I have passions and. 
you know, we can we can kind of separate, do our thing, and come back, and uh, you know, 